Welcome to another Beacon demonstration video. Today we'll be looking at the Android PDT's Write-Off module as part of a series of videos covering the Android PDT. So Write-Off, also sometimes referred to as wastage in our functionality, is how you take items that are broken or damaged or used internally or perhaps like certain hot food that maybe runs out of time before it expires. This is how you actually remove those quantities of items out of the system and rather than selling it or rather than invoicing it out of the system, this is the proper way to remove the quantities out. So with the PDT, you firstly need to make sure you've done a synchronize. So if you watch our previous video on how to synchronize the PDT, please follow those steps first before you begin this next step. So with the PDT, once you've synchronized, you wanna click on the write off module on the screen there. So we click on write off. Now. Very simply, all it does is it comes up with and asks what item it is. So with your button on your PDT, or if you've got the trigger on the gun model, you want to pick up one of your items that you are planning to write off. So I've got a item here. Okay. Now it does come up and say it's recognized the item. Now underneath it, it says, what's the reason there? So it currently defaults to the first option broken. So if I want to tap on that with my finger. So in that list there, you've got things like broken, damaged, you've got holding time exceeded, which is a common reason you would use for certain hot food items in your Bain Marie. Other options are you've got customer sample, equipment malfunction, out of date as other options. I'm gonna go with my option of damaged, for example. And then directly under it, you can see in gray, it does show you underneath it, the stock on hand, the system thinks you have at the moment. That figure can't be adjusted on this screen, but it just lets you know. And finally, underneath it, it says, what quantity of the items are we writing off? So I'm gonna say I've got one quantity that is damaged and I'm going to hit the write off button in gray down the bottom corner there. Once I do that, it takes me back to the same screen again in case I have another item that also needs to be written off. And it just so happens I do. I've got a second item here. I'm going to once again scan the next item. Okay, it's brought up another example. So once again, it's recognized the item you can see there and then the reason for this one. So this time I'm going to change it. I'm going to say this one was perhaps out of date. So I've got that reason there. Once again, you can see there is a stock on hand. It says it's got six in the system there. And how many quantities? I'm gonna say two of them this time were written off. And then once again, I'm just gonna press that write off button down the bottom corner there. Okay, now I'm done with writing off. That's all I need to do. Now, what we have to do to actually complete this, we do need to synchronize it back to the back office and then approve it and complete it through the back office. So the quickest way to do that is I've got a little shortcut button that says sync PDT. So I can just press that whilst I'm in the write off module on the PDT. Alternatively, if I was to exit out of this and go back to the main menu, I do have the ability to synchronize from there as well. So we're gonna now synchronize it to the back office. Okay, so once the PDT has completed synchronize, you can see it does say on that screen there, stock written off was two, that's fine. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna exit out of this here. I'm done with the PDT, I can go ahead and give it back to the staff to continue doing other activity, or I can just put it back onto the cradle. Now to complete those two items that we've written off, we have to go into the back office, we have to go to data entry up the top, and we have to go write off stock. Alternatively, you can see there is that icon there, this icon up the top here, as a quicker shortcut if you prefer, but either one will get to the right off there. So we now have the two items that we selected. You can see the first one once again was the noodles and you can see it's got two quantities there and the reason was out of date. The second item in that list was the other noodle item and it's just one quantity and it's damaged and the total quantity is three and the total cost you can see is there. The GL code down the bottom there, you don't need to adjust that, that's already predefined by us. So unless you need to alter it by adding any additional items or changing any of the reasons that you've selected there or quantities, or you want to delete any of them, we're basically ready to go ahead and complete the write-off. So all I do on the right-hand side, I just take my mouse and I click on complete. And it will say stock write-off has been completed. Once you do that, you'll also see it'll generate a report to tell you the items that you've written off there. You can alternatively print that off if you want or save it to PDF, or if you don't need it, you can always close it off. You can also run a report in future to find that via reports, transactions, stock, and you can look up the event that's called the write-off. But that's basically the simple nature of how you do write-offs through the Android PDT and the back office. Thanks for watching our video on how to perform a write-off through the Android PDT. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at beaconsoftware.com.au.